out of all of the challenge songs that made it onto the album, this is probably the one with less of a story. Um, I've committed to record song stories and so I will, but that's just a little disclaimer to start with. This was for a challenge called Bethel Songs. Um, on the podcast we talked about how Bethel is consistently and continually producing music that is sung in churches across the world. We explored what some of the key elements of Bethel Songs were. What was it that made them something that appealed to such a wide variety of churches across many continents? How, will they, how were they structured lyrically? What did they do musically? What were some of the key hallmarks when you looked across a number of their songs? As well as stimulating new songs, the 12 Song Challenge is a place to develop and hone our craft as songwriters. We'll often say after a particular challenge that has been set how difficult we're finding it, and then we remind ourselves that they're meant to be challenging. It's about encouraging us to explore different topics to what we might have explored independently. Allowing ourselves to be influenced and to take influence from different styles and approaches, all of which will keep our development as songwriters moving. So one of the main elements we identified in Bethel songs is that they're often really focused on a main theme. And the whole song essentially develops and contributes to that theme without jumping around into associated areas. I'd recognise that in my songwriting, although it is all about Jesus, I often don't state his name in the songs that I write. I assume people realise based on the style of writing and everything else that goes along with it. So I decided to remedy that with this song and have Jesus absolute front and centre in the lyric and in the title. A chant in the chorus that absolutely declare that no thing and no one compares to Jesus, that there is no one like you, Jesus, that he is worthy of our praises, that he is the name above all names. And the rest of the song is simply in place to point to that truth. In the chaos of life, when all hope seems gone, we can fix our hope in Jesus because we know that he will never fail. When at our darkest moment, just before the light breaks through, we can depend on him to be with us through it all. So we were encouraged to embrace the approach of the album versions of Bethel songs rather than the radio edits. So believe it or not, we trimmed bits out of this song to get it down to just seven and a half minutes. The original was just over nine minutes, so just be thankful that didn't make the cut for the album. I hope that the truths we declare throughout this song push your eyes upward into worship to the one who is our firm foundation and our solid rock. There is no one like you, Jesus.